sports. And we'll get a look at the penguin, Jalen Waddle. He's going to be a busy man in the passing game. It's the Dolphins and the Raiders next on Madden NFL 25. Welcome in, everyone, to this presentation of the National Football League on EA Sports. Good to be with you. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, we got a couple of teams who love to throw the football. And you know how guys say, hey, we're not going against the other offense. We're going against the other team's defense. Greg, these star wide receivers, you know they're watching what the other guy does on the field here today. Oh, in their minds, there's no question. They are competing against one another. And I think that's what makes this league so fun is when these guys, they know each other, they study each other, they work together in the off seasons. A lot of times they're friends. But come game day, there is no question. At the end of this one, yes, they want their teams to win. But when they put their two box scores up next to each other, there's going to be some bragging rights come this offseason. The veteran, Jason Sanders, ready to get us started. And off we go from South Florida. And he's brought down right at the 35-yard line. The Raiders offense set to take over for the first time. They'll be let out by their quarterback, drafted back in 2019 out of Washington State. It's Gardner Minshew. Don't let this guy's laid-back personality fool you, Mike. He is a tremendous presence to have in your quarterback room. Not only does he have the ability to manage the game at a high level, but your team has a legitimate chance to beat anyone in the league whenever he's under center. Now, I don't know if I'd classify him as a long-term solution, but he's certainly someone every franchise they would love to have. To play corner in this league, Mike, you have to have great reactions and instincts. In this case, he trusts those instincts from the jump, and he's able to send the offense going backwards as a result. So after the loss on first, here's second and 14. The first run for Alexander Madison. And he'll get them five yards closer, but now third down coming up. Play action now with Minshew. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. He can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. The Dolphins come out on offense, and the lefty, Tua Tagovailoa. He led the NFL a year ago in passing yardage. Hard to believe this is season five already from Alabama. Greg Tua, 26 years old, and his time is now. A little bit of a gunslinger mentality a week ago, Mike, and while it was a fun game to watch, I think it's something he's going to have to find some balance. I mean, for better or for worse, he was throwing the ball all over the place. Sometimes it worked out. Other times, it was a complete disaster. At the end of the day, it was enough to win. If he wants to keep stacking victories, he has to limit the amount of risky throws. At some point, they're going to catch up to him. I can promise you this. This defense, they're salivating at the mere thought of him putting the ball in harm's way. to get it to the 30. Here comes third down. Once again, it's HN. HN, a first down, and then some. They'll get a new set of downs. It's a gain of 19. Each week coming into the game, every team in the league, Mike, places a huge emphasis on success on their opening drive. But the key to that is sustaining possession, converting on third down. It's exactly what they were able to do here, keeping the ball on the ground. Boy, some bulk in the formation on that right side here for first and 10. Now it's Tua. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast and... Tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, 
all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. They converge on him quickly. He'll only get a couple. Divine Diablo there to make the play. They need eight as they come up for third down. Now Tua. He gets that to his tight end, Smith. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. Set to go now on first and ten. Tonga Vailoa working out of the pistol. He finds his tight end. That's Smythe. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. A pistol set with Tonga Vailoa. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Jalen Waddle, the intended target. Now it's going to be third down. Go ahead. Out of the pistol, here's Tua. That's into the hands of Smythe, the tight end. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. They're at the 17-yard line now for hey. first and 10. Again, it's Tua. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. They let a golden opportunity slip away on that one. That's the matchup that they wanted. They just couldn't quite capitalize on it. To the air again, Tungo Vailoa. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. That's one he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. Just wasn't quite meant to be. Throwing on third down, Tungo Vailoa. That is intercepted. Picked off by Jack Jones. And he is going to bring this one back. A DB's dream. A pick six for touchdown. And the defense comes up with the first point to this one. It is a pick six to make it a six nothing lead. And Mike, we talked all week which offense was going to be able to strike first and play with the lead. Well, the defense, they had other plans. They're able to put the first points on the board by capitalizing with that pick six. Daniel Carlson on to attempt the extra point. The kick is good, but there are penalty flags down. They might have made contact Personal with the foul. kicker too late. The kicker. Defense. Seven nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out, so they'll take over at the 30-yard line. Ready. Ready. On the ground to start the drive, it's a chance. A gain of four as he's taken down. So after one, it's the Raiders with the early lead. And we're back to South Florida after this. Here's second and six. 
Okay. Tua going to give it to A-Chan. And he'll wind his way to about the 38-yard line. Nate Hobbs in from his corner spot to make the stop. Here's third and two. He'll try and run it here. It's HN. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down. He'll have it by plenty. It was third and two. They picked up eight. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, his offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, right. using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. That is caught. What a throw. Jalen Waddle. Touchdown, Dolphins. That's the fifth touchdown for him on the year. So they take the shot downfield, and it is caught in the end zone for a touchdown. What a big play that is, Greg. Absolutely, Mike. And the key to a play like this is when the ball travels this far in the air, they teach you, don't look back, look up, because that's where the ball will be. And in this case, he was able to secure it and come away with a big touchdown. <laughs> Time. Seven apiece, and the kick's away. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming, and the ball coming out to the 30-yard line. The Raiders offense about ready to get going on their second possession. About set for our next drive. We'll take a peek ahead what's coming up later tonight. Sunday Night Football has the Colts and Jets AFC matchup at MetLife Stadium. And then tomorrow night on Monday Night Football, it's down to the Lone Star State for an in-state battle. Texans and Cowboys at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Let's make no mistake about it, Mike. I mean, this passing game, it just has not been very efficient here in the first half. I mean, they've produced more yards on the ground than through the air, and incompletions like that certainly aren't going to help. Oh, the ball comes out! And as you can see with that fumble, Mike, it really just goes back to the fundamentals of how they're taught to carry the ball. And they talk about the points of pressure. And the biggest thing really, Mike, is you want the front tip of the ball, the part where your fingers cover, to always be higher than the back tip of the ball. So often you see that front tip go down, and it makes it so much easier for that defender to kind of rake it out. So you want pressure against the outside of the ball, both tips, the inside of the ball, and then keep that front point up. Unbalanced look here to the right side on first and ten. Here's Tunga Bailo. He'll let this go deep for the end zone. That is going to be called in. He's got it. Jalen Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. That's his second touchdown of this one. And he's got a half dozen for the year. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start of this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer. Because right now, they don't have one for this guy. the touchdown Myers is back to boot this one away a safe kick taken at the five now an opening past the 30 and a solid run back there he'll get this out past the 30 yard line the Raiders offense and their running back getting set for this next possession they trail now 14 to 7 as they'll come up for first and 10 
They'll start on the ground, and here's Madison. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. Brainback looked a little unsure of himself on that carry there, Mike. You have to think back to that fumble earlier in the game. How much is that still weighing on his mind? He didn't really seem to attack that hole like we've seen in the past. He gets stopped for no gain. They're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. From the gun, here's Minshew. He'll try and get there on the ground. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. So they come to the line for first down and ten. The shotgun, a throw for Minshew. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. From the 39, here's a first and 10. That's caught. It's the tight end, Brock Bowers. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Here's Minshew now on first and 10. He's got his man, Devontae Adams. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. Minshew can look to throw again. He's got the tight end, Mayer. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free and gains nothing. He'll try again here, second and ten. To throw once more, here's Minshew. That's a short one, caught by Bowers. And he will get into the end zone. Brock Bowers. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Really nice job there by the receiver, understanding what to do after you secure the catch and the ability to target him in the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. If you can hit them in stride and be accurate with the ball, there is a lot of green grass to pick up yards after the catch, and he's able to take this one all the way into the end zone for six. Carlson's kick is good. And the Raiders will tie things up. We are all even at 14. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. Oh, yeah. And he'll be out of bounds on the return. And the drive will begin there. The Dolphins offense and receiver Jalen Waddle getting ready to go back to work. And seemingly every time they've looked his way in the first half, it's resulted in a big play that is borne out by those eye-popping hey, numbers. Hey. On first down, here's Tungo Vailoa to throw. Sending it deep for Waddle. And he'll be taken down at the 10-yard line. They simply just don't have an answer for this guy defensively, Mike. I mean, regardless of who they put on him in man coverage or the type of zone coverage they try to capture him with, they simply can't slow him down, and we've already seen it here today. A fair share of big plays through the air, a couple of which have gone for touchdowns. He's had a couple nice blocks in the run game. I mean, he's really having as well-rounded and complete game that a receiver can have in the NFL, and until they prove they can slow him down, I would just keep giving him more opportunities. Ready. From the gun, here's Tua. It is brought in, in the end zone. Tyreek Hill, touchdown Dolphins. And his sensational season continues. That touchdown catch, number 20 on the year. Sanders on for the extra point. 
He's got it. And the Dolphins have broken the deadlock as they move out to a 21 to 14 lead. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. This will be taken in at the two. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. And they'll elect not to run another play. Instead, just take a knee and take this on into the locker room. So, we hit halftime here in South Florida, and the Dolphins are in the lead. As we send you up to Orlando for a check-in with Jonathan Coachman. He's got our EA Sports. Halftime report. Coach, it's all yours. All right, Michael, we'll get back to you and Greg in just a little bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll start out with a rematch of that low-scoring Super Bowl 53. The L.A. Rams looking for revenge as they travel to Foxborough to take on New England. And it's the Patriots with the lead in that one. It's the rookie, Drake May, with two touchdown passes. From there, we head to the Big Easy. Check on the Saints at home in the Superdome. And for the moment, they trail the visiting Browns in that one. Two touchdown passes there for Deshaun Watson. Lastly, let's get to the Windy City. See what's happening with the Bears at home at Soldier Field. And they lead the visiting Packers at halftime. Keenan Allen, two touchdown catches in that first half alone. It was a strong first half from the lefty to a tongue of Iowa. He lit up the sky with three first half touchdown passes as his guys were rolling in the early part of this football game. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. Both these teams running through their final adjustments. It's time for the second half. And for the call, let's get it back out to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thanks. This one's still anyone's game. We'll see if we can come out with the hot hand in this second half. About to get started. To return it, here's Raheem Mostert. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. Now, Tua and the Miami offense head out for their next possession. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. They'll come up here first and 10. Go ahead. Ow! They'll start on the ground. It's a chance. Up the sideline at the 35. And they'll finally track him down as he takes it up to the 45-yard line. And this is just more of the same, picking up exactly where he left off in the first half. And these numbers, Mike, as you see him, they just pop out at you. I mean, he has been the driving force of this offense from the very start. They'll stay on the ground with HN, and they're going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back, but not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Well, he had such a great first half throwing the football. There's no reason to think Mike coming out here for the start of the third that anything's going to change. He's picked up right where he left off, and the numbers are indicative of just how well he's played. A handoff to Daychan, heading left. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. The 
They'll run right here. It's A-Chan. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. They'll run with eight kick. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down. His defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain on third and two. Back to throw is Tua. That is caught. What a throw. Durham Smythe. Touchdown Miami. That is yet another touchdown pass. What a game he is having. Throwing his fourth touchdown score of the game. It's one thing, Mike, to throw four touchdowns, but it's really the ease in which he's carved this defense up that has stood out the most. The defense has had no answers for this passing game, and he has just completely had his way with this group. The extra point by Sanders is good, and the Dolphins have doubled their advantage. It is now a 28-14 game. After the touchdown, Myers is back to boot this one away. Jones now on the return. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The Raiders offense ready for their first possession of this second half. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. The drive starts with a run by Madison. And a good job following his blockers. A gain of seven. It'll be second down. Working out of the gun. It's Minshew. That's thrown right side. But incomplete. Trying to get it to his tight end. Rock Bowers. And third down coming up. Based on the routes downfield, it looked like the protection was designed to give the quarterback a little bit more time to wait for things to uncover downfield. So give credit up front to the defensive line. Immediate pressure early speeds up the quarterback's clock. He's got no choice than to get rid of it probably a little bit earlier than he would have preferred. It'll be a pickup of 10. First down, Vegas. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. Throw over the middle, brought in by Adams. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. So we are through three. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Come to the line now on second and two. To the air once more is Minshew. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He'll try and throw with Minshew. And that is incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. And now it's fourth down. Every so often, Mike, you can see these offenses, and it looks like the passing game gets a little bit too predictable. And as the defense continues to flood the back end of these zones with extra defenders, they're continuing to force this quarterback to not only make some difficult throws, but to put the ball in harm's way. Here's first and ten. Yeah. 
Back is Minshew. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. I think the biggest issue and why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. And sometimes he's highly accurate and efficient, but at others, he just misses too many easy throws. The question is, are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback? In and he will score! Game on! Devontae Adams! Touchdown, Vegas! Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. Braxton Berrios now to bring it back. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The Dolphins offense and their wide receiver getting ready to get back to work. And he's looking to finish strong. He has been unquestionably the star of the show as they have just absolutely had no answer on the defensive right. side of the ball. On first down, Tungo Valoa. A wide open receiver downfield. This one is caught. What a way to kick right, off the drive. That's a gain of 30. And another first down. Here's two. Sending it deep for Waddle. That is going to be all in. He's got it. Galen Waddle. Touchdown, Dolphins. Three touchdowns in this one. He now has seven for the year. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. After the touchdown, Myers is back to boot this one away. This will be returned from the six. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Vegas offense ready to get rolling again. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Minshew. Over the middle. That's the tight end, Bowers. And it'll be taken down, but it takes them across midfield down to the 40-yard line. Throwing on first and 10, it's Minshew. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. They put Adams in motion. On second down, here's Minshew. Open man downfield. He's got his tight end, Bowers. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. He'll be hit as he throws, and that one will wind up incomplete. Could not step into the throw that time. It'll bring up second down. They'll run here. This crowd urging the defense on. It is third and eight. Throwing is Minshew. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. I like the idea of taking your shot there on third down, pushing the ball downfield, looking for the touchdown. But now as it brings up fourth down, you're already this close. You're in field goal range. To the back of the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, Raiders. What a terrific play at the back of the end zone. 
Greg, that is so hard to do, but something you did during your career. How do the guys pull that off? Yeah, the key here, Mike, is the concentration to not only see the ball, to feel the ground. You have to know exactly where you are in the back line of the end zone. And tell you what, this is about as good as it gets. Come down with the ball, two feet in bounds, touchdown. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. Mostert now to return. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. First and 10. On the handoff, this is HN. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. And he's going to be stopped in his tracks. He'll lose a couple of yards on that one. Here now, third and five. Get set. Now the Dolphins going to use the first of their timeouts. Third and five. It's it. Out. They'll drop to throw. He manages to get the throw away and completes it. Now timeout Vegas. That is their second. They'll be disappointed there after giving up the first down. Terrific day throwing the ball and the numbers now show it. Over 300 yards passing in this one. They'll go three tight ends here on first and ten. Good. Out. Here's a give to HX. And just a short game there, down to the 38. Now the Raiders are going to use their third and final timeout. And they'll get together prior to the second down play. to throw is Tua. A ball deep for the end zone. That one knocked away. It is incomplete. Very good job defensively. Stayed right with him and will bring up third down. Out of the gun, Tungo Vailoa. And that is incomplete. After that incomplete pass, we have a player shaken up. That is a worrisome development here late in the game. The offense not coming off the field, and here's fourth right down. Here. They snap it to Tua. Escaping the danger, throwing and completing. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. Now stoppage here for an injured player. That's Jalen Waddle, who's in some discomfort. That is a worrisome development here late in the game. Yeah, Here's HN. And he will score. Come on, HN. Touchdown, Miami. And that's exactly how you stress all week finishing a game. Get the ball and leave no doubt. But that late touchdown, Mike, that should all but just seal this victory away. Sanders here for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Dolphins will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter.
after the touchdown, Myers is back to boot this one away. From the six, here comes a return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Raiders offense ready to take over once more. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. From the gun, here's Minshew. He'll get this complete to his tight end, Bowers. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. He'll go right back to Bowers. He's got it again. That catch number 40 on the season for him. Here's first and 10. On play action, here's Minshew. And that's going to be picked by Jalen Ramsey. And the Dolphins are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. When you find yourself in this situation, you're on defense, you're defending your own goal line, you got to take some chances. You've got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. Tyreek Hill getting ready for this next drive along with the rest of the Miami offense. And he's been as involved as anyone in the league in the middle part of the season. The NFL leader in receiving yards to this point. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. On first and ten, here's Tua. That ball flutters to the ground. It's incomplete. Well, fortunate there wasn't a defender right there in the area. Could have been a turnover. Instead, it brings up second down. Now it's Tua. What teamwork the receiver coming back for the completion. His eighth reception of the game. And good for a first down. And now the referee looks like he has gotten word from replay that he stopped the game inside the last two minutes. All replays emanate from there. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So that is what you want. You know sometimes it takes time, but they do get it right, and this call will stand. Ready, Jack? Help! Two and out on first down. He's going to air this one out, looking for Hill. And he has got this one all the way down to the two-yard line. When he continues to play at this level, Mike, it just makes this team so hard to beat. It's the combination of leading both long, sustained drives and then being able to strike in bunches, generate big, explosive plays, primarily through the air. It puts so much pressure on these defenses, and with the way today's game is gone, it doesn't look like he has any plans on slowing down. Trying to fight his way into the end zone, but they will mark him short down at the one a little closer here's second and goal right. one more time with most of and this is gonna be a touchdown they are going to extend the lead here in the final minute of play a lot of big bodies down there, but at the end of the day, the one that mattered, the one with the ball, finds the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, once that back gets the ball, Mike, he's just looking for a little crack of daylight, and he's thinking, I'm going to run into it and just hope I come out the other side, and in this case, the other side's the end zone, and they get six. Down to the final few seconds of this one as the kick is away. The return starts from the five. And he'll be brought down there, and that'll put a wrap on this one. Time has expired in this fourth quarter. So a win here for the Dolphins. Their winning ways continue. They've yet to be stopped 
as they remain unbeaten in the month of November. So that'll do it for us, for Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The Dolphins, home winners here as we say farewell from South Florida.